Hey guys, it's Phil again. So if you are coming straight off of the how to update your Galaxy S3 from AT&T with uh, KitKat 4.4.2, build number NE4, then you will be right at home. If you did not catch that video, there will be a link in the description to go update your phone if you have not already. If you already have the update, but are not rooted and want to be because you want your super user, you want your CPU clocking, you want your titanium backups, or you just want to be able to uh, enable soft keys on your phone so you don't have to worry about using the home button all the time, well, this tutorial is for you right now. So what we're going to see is how to update, well, not how to update, how to root the phone with some included files linked in the description. So first one will be a link to Chainfire, his website for a CF auto root, and then it will be directly linking to the uh, D2 ATT, D2 meaning Galaxy S3, and AT&T for AT&T. And then a link to download a zip file with the uh, recovery tools in it. So the recovery tools folder will be ne will need to be copied onto your internal storage using the uh, USB cable which we'll be using in a second. And then once you download CF auto root, you're going to unzip it onto your desktop, open up the uh, Odin file in there, and then allow. And then this one will have auto reboot and F reset time checked already for you. And then all we have to do is select PDA, and then it looks in the folder. So it will have CF auto root D2 ATT DTUC uh, Samsung SGH i747 dot tart and d5 so this will it it will put your phone back to stock recovery if you have a custom recovery which probably you don't but it'll do that and then it will install super user where it needs to be and then all you have to do when that's done is update super user to make sure it can overpower and disable nox and you are good to go with root access and then i will show you that one once it's all good so we're going to do uh open and let that go through. It all checked and good. So this one, we're going to have to put this phone back into download mode. So lazy man's weight, open the back, tear the battery out. Oh, the focus is nowhere. And then put the battery back in and the back case back on, yada, yada. And then for you people who know download mode now, it is um, volume down, power, and home all at the same time until you feel a buzz and then a screen pops up. So buzz. Screen comes on, so you can read this yourself, but you'll be able to read it on your own phone, blah, 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 blah. If you went through with the last video where you restored your system from custom to stock slash official, then you'll be right at home, so press volume up to get in download mode. And as you can see, oh, come on. Oh, please, come on. Anyway, it says Samsung official, and then the current system status is official. Anyway, so we're going to plug the phone into the computer using the micro USB cable. The computer will recognize it. Uh, you will see a com whatever. The number doesn't matter for this, so it'll see uh, added. And then we can just press start. So what's good, I'm gonna show you the phone because it's more interesting because all it will do is flash a uh, stock recovery and then root your phone for you once it goes through. It'll put the system files on there so you can unplug it now. So it is booting into a very, very custom kind of recovery mode thing. Sorry for the focus, there we go. So it's installing, there we go rooting, restoring stock recovery, and then rebooting in 10 seconds, it automatically reboots itself. So you will be right back to stock, just stock rooted KitKat on your AT&T Galaxy S3 now. So it'll go through the normal boot process. Since you've already set it up, it should take the normal amount of time. And then I will show you where super user sits in your app drawer. It should be, you know, right about, it should be between the S's if you have it alphabetically, it should just add itself to the end if it's a custom grid that you put together yourself. So starting apps because it has a new app. And then, come on, Android is upgrading. I love seeing that screen. So it will boot up. And then with the, uh, also from the last video, I forgot to show you guys the uh, camera lock screen shortcut. 
So uh, open that up. Screen refresh rate, why you kill me? Sorry about the moving. So we're going to go into the app drawer. And since everything's alphabetized, oh, you, you problem child. First, well, first, I'm going to show you it's here. So as you can see, super SU, right there. That is uh, chain fires version of the super user client. So what we're going to do, because this has no service, I will use Wi-Fi to do this. You need to update super user through the play store because the version that's included in this CF auto route is out of date. And you always want to check for updates just in case, because sometimes it may not work if you don't have it updated to the latest version. Oh God, that screen refresh. Let's see what I can't do about that. There we go. That's better. Okay. So go into my apps and then you will have super SU listed in here. So stop any updates you might have going on because you didn't do them before when you first updated to KitKat. Scroll down to find super SU by Chainfire. Click on it, wait for it all to load. And then you'll have to click update and, you know, allow super user at a later point. And it's a relatively small file. It's under two and a half megabytes. So I will get back to you when we are all finished updating and then within the super SU app. See you in a bit. Okay. So all finished updating. And then if you click open straight from the play store, it gets rid of the notification and it takes you right to the app. So the first thing that pops up is the super SU binary needs to be updated. Continue, go ahead and continue. If you have a custom ROM regardless. So let's just do normal and then it'll install. It shouldn't take as long as five minutes. It should take less than one, maybe. Usually it takes less than one, yeah. So this is just because it's um, it's an old file that we had put onto the system and it needs to update from the App Store update that we just put into it. So this one is the, uh, this one's the big one. This is why Super SU is super nice, huh, clever, on uh, your Samsung phones now. So Samsung Knox has been detected. This might limit root capabilities, completely limits them, blocks access to the system and data partitions. Um, and it can be annoying because you'll have a, a little pop-up shield in the corner notification saying, access to your system has been denied. No further action is necessary. Regardless, let's have Super SU kill Knox. So disabling. And then you are Knox free. You don't have to worry about it. Installation success. It's recommended you reboot it, whatever. I recommend you follow Chainfire on Google Plus and Twitter. He posts updates about all of his apps and and their development. And he's got some very, very insightful thoughts about upcoming version of Android. So there we go. That's all set up. So who would you be to believe if it was rooted straight out of that? Let's go do a, uh, I'm going to go download a quick root checker app from the Play Store. And then we're going to get back to that one and prove that this bad boy is rooted. Okay, so um, my root checker app of choice is a uh, root checker by Joey Krim. If you just type in root space checker in the Play Store, this will be the first result. So let's go ahead and open that root checker basic. In order to further help development, let's agree. And then uh, here's some bug fixes for you. So verify root. So that's our version. Verify root. So we have to grant root access. And if you get this screen, it works root access. We are rooted guys. We are rooted on KitKat. So let's go back to the main screen, close out some apps and, um, let's go on to the next part. So this is the, uh, custom recovery and the uh, recovery tools that I had you put on your internal SD card. So we're going to scroll over to uh, my files, the file explorer included by Samsung. And we're going to click on all files, scroll down to actually it might be here. So recovery tools. So the, I've included the uh, Nandroid manager APK file, and then the uh, custom recovery for clockwork mod touch. So these two will work in conjun conjunction to make your flashing and backing up process very, very easy. So Nandroid manager, it's also available in the play store. If you don't feel comfortable just using the APK included. So just search Nandroid manager in the play store and download that. So let's uh, click on the name. It'll ask us if we want to install. Here's the permissions, edit your text messages and stuff because it's a nice little interface. I love it. And then there's some more. Click install. Hello, Google. Yeah. Let's allow it to check our apps to make sure nothing malicious gets on here. Like, uh, you know, Tim Cook says, 
90% of malware is designed to go on here. Anyway, so we are a good app installed. Let's open it. So waiting for super user. So grant super user to this one. We have to get BusyBox too. Don't forget that one. BusyBox is always something I recommend getting. So once you root your device, you will want to set up super su and update it and then go straight to the Google Play Store and install a version of BusyBox. This one uses a uh, Steven the Sterickson, the BusyBox by Steven Sterickson. And I just use this one because it's quick, it's easy. And there's an automated install once you uh, open up the app. So it's less than two and a half megabytes and it does not take that long to download on a great speed or a great network, which I don't have right now. But so once we get into this one, it's going to install the little bit of files that we need and then we can uh, go straight back to Nanroid Manager because the, there we go, installing, all good. So let's open it. It pops up, grant super user to this one. Busy box free has been granted super user and then click the X because it's not important. So it's doing an automated install or you can click install right here if you don't want to wait for it. So we're just gonna, you know, go for it. It looks like the installation was successful. Congratulations. Keep in mind that, yeah, you will have to check back manually to get the updates unless you want to support the developer by getting uh, the pro version, which automatically updates whenever there's a new version. So let's open up the app drawer, go back to an Android manager, initiating first run. Software is provided. It's not liable for something happening to your phone because you rooted it. So there's some change logs. So since there's no backups on this phone, there's no backups. So we're going to go to recovery. So we're going to uh, flash new recovery, tap on that, choose, choose from recovery or choose from SD card, and then scroll down to the recovery tools folder. In there, you will see highlighted in purple, cwm-d2att-6047.img. And then this is the recovery file for clockwork mod touch. I always recommend touch because if your volume rocker breaks or if you just don't feel like using it all the time because it's cumbersome, this makes it easy and it functions just like the normal phone. And you can use your capacitive buttons too. So this one we're going to tap on, reading, making sure it's all good. Recovery we installed, there we go. Uh, and then we're going to select flash recovery. Flash and recovery is a possibility of breaking your device as does everything we're doing. So we're just gonna go ahead with it. If it bricks, we will uh, deal with that later. So it's all good. It's done and we're going to select reboot recovery. And we're going to be, instead of thrown into stock recovery, we're going to be tossed into, as you saw the little blue flash up over there, tossed into clockwork mod. There we go. There's your logo knowing, telling you that this is not stock. This is the uh, SID from Sandigen mod. Anyway, so this is Clockwork Mod Touch. You notice they are a little bigger blocks, and then there we go. Focus, focus, please. There we go. Six point oh point four point seven. Um, so this is, I believe, at the time of filming, the most up to date version of Clockwork Mod Touch there is for the uh, D two ATT, your eighteen T Galaxy S three. So this is all you needed to do. This is the custom recovery. This is um, it saves you some money because for the ROM manager app to install it for you, it costs a dollar or something. It's stupid. So I just gave you the free way. Don't, don't worry. Share, share, the, share this with your friends. If they want a custom recovery and they want Clockwork Mod Touch, send them the files and tell them how to do it because it makes life so much easier. So we're just going to, because we don't need to do anything, we're just going to hit a reboot system. And then always do the, the first time that you boot from custom recovery, you'll have to select disable recovery flash. And then every time you come out of custom recovery, you have to select yes, fix root slash system slash xbin slash su. This is only for TouchWiz based ROMs, only for TouchWiz based ROMs with NOx included. So 4.3, 4.4.2, and then no doubt when we get 4.4.3 or 0.4 or the next version of Android when NOx is even better, and this may not work, we have to check it. So we're going to do yes, fix root. We're going to disable Nox. We're gonna stop Nox from disabling super user at boot. 
So once this boots up, you will have an S3 that can boot into custom recovery. You can flash new recoveries. You can make backups. You are rooted with Super SU, so any root apps you have, you can do all of your normally normal rooty stuff with it. Just remember to grant access using Super User all the time to apps that you trust and need to use. And then, I don't know, then you're done. You have a fully rooted, fully functioning, fully updated, fully kit catified AT&T, Samsung, Galaxy S3. So there's a video that I'm going to link to, and it I put this up for the Sprint Galaxy S3, but the the process is exactly the same. It's how to get the uh, Galaxy S5 launcher and My Magazine feature onto your phone. And that will be linked in the, uh, the doobly-doo, the description underneath. So if you want to know how to get the Galaxy S5 launcher with the uh, My Magazine to the left, and then all the screens, and then the nifty pinch out to add widgets and stuff instead of this. And it gives you a new app door too. It's, it's kind of nice. I like it. But uh, if you want that, go ahead and check out the tutorial linked below, and I will see you guys next time. And the next time will most likely, if not certainly, be the how to debrick both your AT&T and Sprint versions of the Galaxy S3 running KitKat, or 4.3. Either will work. So until then, I will wish you guys well. Happy rootedness. Happy KitKat day. And uh, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if I need to change anything, if you want anything different, if you want videos helping with specific things, or if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to add me on Google Plus and ask me anything there. And I guess, have fun. See you later, guys.